Okay, I'm going to talk about the sub subwoofer placement. Now, I had some real good luck, believe it or not, with this subwoofer I got from Savis. I know I keep mentioning it. So I put it in the back of the room, right next to my one of my rear speakers. Bro. Um, rear channels aren't really that important to me. And I've wa I watched a movie like Star Wars, and I can still hear the rear channel and everything that happens. And I can hear the subwoofer at the same time. Now you're going to say, why not put a subwoofer in a different part of the room? Well, it's simply subwoofer placement. People are right. You have to find that sweet spot to your subwoofer. If I put it in front of the room, it doesn't work. Um, I guess I could I could have tried the left side of the room, but then I um, it's going to be an air conditioner and all kind of stuff, and I have so much stuff on the floor, can't put it there. Can't put it on the right side of the room because it would be in front of my bookcase. So the front was... The front of the front of the room was no option. So what did I do? I placed it in the back. I can I can hear everything in the back that I don't hear in the front. It's it, it makes maybe it's, maybe it's why they call it low frequency and all that. But when I put it in the front of the room, I barely hear any bass or anything come out of the thing at all. I can go right up to it like this. I can't hear a damn thing. Put it in the back of the room. I can hear everything. It's just you know. I, it amazes me because you're saying, well, you should know this already. Well, maybe I should, but, you know, I'm not a professional with this, like I said before. So this is some new crazy stuff to me. And I can tell you that you know, it's, they're right when they say proper placement. I have two subwoofers on my um, living room setup, which is my main setup. And I can tell you people that I'm... Um, for all I know, one of those is out of place. And since I have two of them, it's kind of hard to tell if one's not, you know, they're both firing at the same time. And it's a little difficult. But I'm not going to mess around with that one because those subwoofers can't be put in um, any different places than where they are now. They can't be moved. There's no other place to put them. So basically, you just have to leave it at that. But it's crazy. So, you know, these active subwoofers do work, and they do give off a decent amount of bass. I mean, people make it sound like they don't give off any. I was listening to Star Wars, and during the lightsaber battle, you could definitely hear some bass. So there's no doubt about that. Um, I don't know why people are complaining about it so much. Um, that's what I have to say. So, um, does it matter which way the subwoofer is pointing. I've noticed that it doesn't really matter which way it's pointing as long as it's in the right position of, in, the, in, the, in the room. For instance, the uh, other one was pointing directly at me when it was in the front. In the back of the room, it's pointing directly the other way towards the other side. So that means that um, I used to have it pointing this way directly at me when I was laying down watching TV, but um. It was taking up too much room and I couldn't fit my, um, what's it called, my, um, my echo device and I couldn't forget, I, I couldn't, I also couldn't fit my charger for my iPhone or anything on, on the, on the desk thing, so that was that. Now, with all this I've, I've been doing, um, was it necessary to get another one from Savers or should I have just kept the one I bought on eBay? Well, see, this is the problem with the whole situation with that. Every subwoofer, I believe, is different. I don't know if I'm correct, but I might be. The reason why I say that is, is because I had a Sony subwoofer placed the same way as this one, and it didn't almost didn't do anything, and this one's giving me a lot of bass. The other one gave me nothing. So that's just goes to tell you, and this one's like much a little smaller than the one I had before. And that RCR, RCA came, um, one, that came with a cable, but, um, yeah, forget that. All right, well, that's it, and bye-bye.